sketching the locus involving complex number. So let's look at this question. We want to sketch the locus uh, of modulus of z minus 2i is equal to 3, where z is equal to x plus 2i. So before we go to complex numbers, so let me talk about real numbers. Say if you have a equation like this, modulus of x minus 2 is equal to 3. What does this mean? This basically means which are the numbers at a distance of 3 from 2. So let me draw a number line. Say this is this is 0 and say this is 2. So how many numbers are there? Basically this question if you want to express this graphically. Can you tell me the numbers which are at a distance of 3 from 2? Well there's one to the right, so if you go three to the right, you get one number which is five. And if you go three to the left, you get another real number. Three to the left, so three take away two, so this is minus, so negative one. So when you solve this, so modulus of, so this is how you do it algebraically, so z minus two is equal to three. So basically this is the idea of modulus. So the two numbers which are at a distance of 3 from 2 are 5 and negative 1. So how do you do it algebraically? So well we can say x minus 2 is equal to 3. That's one option. Or x minus 2 is equal to negative 3. Because modulus can be positive or negative. So adding 2 to both sides, x is equal to 5 and adding 2 to both sides x is equal to negative 1. So this is the algebra and this is the graph. So the idea in complex number is basically the same but as it's complex number you have to think in a slightly different way. So what does this mean? So let's understand this. Modulus of z minus 2i is equal to 3. So basically we are asking the question Tell me the complex numbers which are at a distance of 3 from 2i. So let's graph this. So what does this mean? So where is 2i? Say this is this is your this is the real arm and this is the imaginary arm. So the same idea, z minus 2i. So 2i is somewhere here. So this is 2i. So tell me all the complex numbers which are at a distance of 3. Well, it is basically a circle. So let me draw a circle, somewhat looking like this. So all these, so this is at a distance of 3. So this is the radius of 3. So this is also a radius of 3. So this is basically a circle. So here the locus is the set of all the points which are at a distance of 3 from this center, which is uh, 2i. So basically just looking at this question I can say this is a circle with center 0, 2i and a radius of 3. And if you want to write this algebraically this is x squared plus y minus 2 the whole squared is equal to 9. But let's do this algebraically how would you get this answer? So, so the question is modulus of z minus 2i is equal to 3. So by just looking at this question you can tell the answer. All the set of points which are at a distance of 3 from this center which is 0 comma 2i is the complex or is the locus. So writing this in uh, uh, z where z is said to be where z is said to be x plus y i. So in place of z I can put x plus y i. So this changes to x plus y i minus 2 i is equal to 3. So writing this in rectangular form it is x plus taking the i's out y minus 1 y minus 1. This should be 1. Yeah, I have made a mistake here. Okay, y minus 1 
y minus 2, sorry, and it's not. This is, if you take the i out, y minus 2 is equal to 3. So this is right. Because if this is center 0 comma 2i, and so the center is 0 comma 2i, so this is x squared plus y minus 2. Okay, so what does this mean algebraically? So this means, if you write this, the formula of modulus of z is x square root of x squared plus y squared. Modulus of z is square root of x squared plus y squared. So modulus of this would be square root of x squared plus y minus 2 the whole squared is equal to 3. And if you square both sides, this is x squared plus y minus 2 the whole squared is equal to 9. And that's what we got. So this is the locus. And if you want to draw, if you want to go backwards, this is, has a center of 0 comma 2i and a radius of 3. I hope you know the equation of a circle is x minus a the whole squared plus y minus b the whole squared is equal to r squared where center is a comma b and radius is r okay so let's look at one more question sketch the locus of modulus of z minus 2i is equal to modulus of z plus 1 minus i so let's first do it algebraically without doing the sort of graphically and then we'll do it algebraically so let's understand what does this mean z minus 2 is z minus 2 so here we are asking the question the complex number at a distance of 2 okay so all complex numbers at a uh, at a distance sorry the distance of z from 2 is equal to the distance of writing this in this form I can say this is z I'll put a minus out so can I write this as negative 1 plus i this is the trick part so basically if you want to what they're saying is a set of uh, numbers which are at the same distance from these two conditions so let me explain this so let us graph this so z minus 2 so basically this is so modulus of z minus 2 means so this is 0 this is the real arm and this is the imaginary arm so 2 comes here so this point is 2 or so this is 0 comma 2 and this is minus 1 plus i so this is minus 1 and this is plus i this is i so this point this point is minus 1 plus i so basically you ask you're thinking of all the points which are at an equal distance from these two points well that is going to be a straight line okay so you can think of if you have two points you can get a set of points which are at the same distance so I know the answer we'll have to prove it so the line would look somewhat like this okay so this line is at the same distance from these two these two complex numbers okay so this distance is equal to this distance so basically the answer of this question is a straight line and all these points if you take any arbitrary point say if you take this point here let me use a different color or uh, green if you take this point or any point say this is point x if you join it join to this point and this point they are equal so basically the answer we know should be a straight line so what does this mean so writing this so this basically means this is x plus yi minus 2 this is equal to x 
plus y i plus 1 minus i. So this is modulus of x minus 2, writing this in com uh, rectangular form, plus y i is equal to modulus of, writing this in rectangular form, it will be x plus 1 plus y minus 1 i. Am I right? Hopefully. So I'm just rearranging, taking the real part, x plus 1, and the imaginary part. If you factor out i, it will be y minus 1. So as we did, uh, let me repeat. So modulus of z, if z is equal to x plus y i, this is the formula. This is not the formula. So basically, this is Pythagoras. Absolute value of z would be square root of x squared plus y squared. So using this same principle, I can say square root of x minus 2, the whole squared, plus y squared is equal to absolute value of, sorry, square root of x plus 1, the whole squared, plus y minus 1, the whole squared. So you can square both sides, so this will become x minus 2, the whole squared, plus y squared is equal to x plus 1, the whole squared plus y minus 1 the whole squared. So expanding this side, this will be x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus y squared is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus y squared uh, y squared minus 2y plus 1. Okay, so what will happen now? So this plus x squared and plus x squared plus y squared plus x squared plus y squared will get cancelled. So what are we getting? Okay, so let's write this. So writing this. So what is left out? So minus 4x plus 4 on the left hand side is equal to 2x minus 2y plus 2. Okay, so we're almost there. So let's write this as, so let us write, so this is 2y is equal to 2x plus 4x uh, plus 2 minus 4. I, I'm just simplifying. So this is, this implies 2y is equal to 6x minus 2. And dividing both sides by so y is equal to 3x minus 1. So this is basically a line. Okay, so this line is what I was talking about. This The equation of this line is y is equal to 3x minus 1. So if you take any point, suppose this is, say, let me explain that. This is minus 1 because the y-intercept is negative 1. So if you take the, this distance, this distance is going to be equal to this distance. So if you use Pythagoras, I hope you understand this is a right angle. This is, you can use Pythagoras or uh, this is the rise. You can, not this way, sorry. If you go rise, if you take the rise and run, the rise is 1 and the run is 4. Sorry, the rise is 1 and the run is 2. So this distance is square root of 5. Okay, the distance from this point to this point is square root of 5. Same way, the distance between this point to this point is also square root of 5. So same way, if you can take any point on this and try to find using the distance formula, the distance between any point on this line and these two points will always be the same. That's always going to be a constant, not a constant number. The distance will keep changing, but the distance is going to be constant.